What's going on YouTube? Raven7955 here for another Ace Card 2i video. If you watched my other video, obviously I've gotten rid of the R4i. I couldn't get it to work. You already know that. You're already here looking to figure out why the Ace Card 2i isn't working. If you're watching this, you're obviously getting a problem with getting the Danny Phantom on the DSi and trying to get it to work. Now, I can't answer any questions about the 3DS because A, I don't have one and B, I don't have one, so that's, I can't answer any questions about that. What I can do is answer any questions about the DSi or the, you can't see it, but the DS Lite is plugged in, so that's why you can't see it. Anyway, so last week I've been having a problem with getting the Ace Card 2i to work on the DSi with firmware version 1.4.1. I haven't been able to get it to work, and as of yesterday, I was able to finally get it to work after hours of figuring out what to do, watching videos on how to do it. Basically, I'm going to give you in the description below on where to get the appropriate files and what to do, and uh, just watch, and uh, we'll show you where to go from there. Now that that uh, annoying sound is gone, and I got my regular voice back instead of using that effect. Anyway, I just thought it'd be kind of funny. Anyway, if you're watching this, okay, let's let's get right to it. Now, this is the website where the thing is, the special file that you need that'll fix the 1.4.1 .1 firmware fix. This means that you're getting the the problem with getting the Danny Phantom on the DSi, like it says here. You got the Danny Phantom it isn't there anymore. The Alex Rider is is the way to go. So make sure you download this file. Now just go ahead and click here and then select it right here on the side here. Since I've already downloaded it, I don't really have to, so click it right there. This is the website that will be able to answer any questions. Uh, feel free to take a look at that, look at the comments, and read there. So. Once you have that, this is the file. Um, you're going to get actually two files when you download it. One's going to say DSi and one's going to say DSL. Definitely use the DSL because it's going to flash it and make sure you're obviously using a DS Lite. When you're using it, it's going to completely flash the whole thing, so make sure you back up your files and all that. So this is the magic file. Put it on your... I don't have it plugged in, but... Put it on the root of your micro SD card. You should know how to do that. Uh, don't put it like in the games. Just put it on the the main thing, and that should work. And let's switch over to the. I guess let's just switch back over to the DS, and we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Now, hopefully, it's it changed from that stupid kid voice to you know something cool. Anyway, now let me go ahead and switch these out, and give me one second. Okay, now get your hands on the DS Lite, because I, I can't stress that enough I'm to get it to work. You won't have to update or anything like that. Go ahead and turn it on, kind of show, hopefully you can see it. Well, give me one second, sometimes the card just doesn't want to read stuff like that happens. Just go ahead and pop it out and get it there again. Okay, now it should say Ace Card if you have all the right files in the right place. Just go ahead and open that. Uh, now, it should be on the root. Like I said, you're going to have two files. You won't need two files. You just need the DSL one. That's going to flash your card. Just go ahead and select that. Now I'm not going to do it because obviously I've already done it. So. Um, select that and it will ask you uh, please continue. Now don't worry, it, there's like a very slim chance that it's ever going to I guess brick or break or anything like that. So let's go ahead and do that and it should work and you should let's go ahead and switch it and put it in the DSi. Oh, this is what my cartridge looks like. Hopefully your, your cartridge looks very similar to that. So, Go ahead and turn it on.
okay and turn it on <laughs> okay just like that and at the very bottom you're gonna see something like this where it says Alex Ryder and if it still says the Danny Phantom then it didn't work you need to flash it again uh, the Danny Phantom, the reason why they have the, the update of 1.4.1 is to actually fix that problem. So, your best bet is just to get a DS Lite. There's, there's no updating or anything, and it still runs great. So, I hope that helped. That's where to get the file. If you have any questions, feel free to post a video or comment, send me a message. And if, I guess, if you want to subscribe, I rarely make videos, but, you know, I. I Go nuts. Thanks for watching.